a privilege to to be to be in this service tonight and we just want to give you all the praise all the thanks all the glory and all the honor today father father we cover everyone on this in this service with the blood of jesus with the word of god and with the fire of the holy spirit god father god in the name of jesus we lose the spirit of repentance salvation deliverance and healing in this service tonight father father we just want to give you thanks we just want to give you praise we just want to give you honor today father father be thou glorified in every area of our lives today father father we just come before you with a with a joyful heart today father and father we just want to thank you we just want to praise you we want to glorify your name today god god we pray that you will lose the spirit of salvation deliverance and healing into our lives today father father that you will lose the spirit of wisdom counsel and might understanding knowledge and the fear of the lord into our lives today god god i pray that you pierce our hearts deep with a spirit of conviction that will lead us to godly sorrows today father father we pray that you will take fresh coals from the altar god and put it in our mouths that we pray prophetic prayer over ourselves over our family over the nation today god god we just want to give you all the praise we want to give you all the thanks we want to give you all the honor today father because you are god and beside you there's no other god father we take every thought and we bring it in captivity with the mind of christ we said greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world we can do all things through christ who strengthen us god replace our weaknesses with your strength today father father be thou glorified in every every area of our lives today god god we giving you all the praise we giving you all the thanks we giving you all the honor today father these things we ask in jesus name amen and amen well today our we have a guest worship leader today singer today and we like you to welcome Sister Opal tonight. We'll be doing the worship. Thank God. Sister Opal. Yeah. Let's just open our hearts as we enter into a time of praise and worship unto the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. We come to worship him tonight because it's all about him. It's not about us. So let's just forget about ourselves and wherever we are, let's just create that atmosphere of worship so that Jesus Christ, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit can come and dwell with us. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Mm. Amen. Yes, Lord. Praise is rise from the inside, from the inside of me. May you delight in the inside, in the inside of me. All I want. Is for you, for you to be glorified, for you to be lifted high. All I want is for you, for you to be glorified, for you to be lifted high. We glorify you. Yes, Lord, let praises rise from the inside, from the inside of me. May you delight in the inside, in the inside of me. Come fill my life. 
from the inside, from the inside of me, set me on fire, from the inside, from the inside of me, all I want is for you. For you to be glorified, for you to be lifted high, all I want is for you, for you to be glorified, for you to be lifted high, all I want is for you, for you to be glorified. For you to be lifted high, all I want is for you, for you to be glorified, for you to be lifted high. Yes, Lord, we glorify you. We glorify you, Lord. Yes, Jesus. Fill my life till all they see is you, Lord. Glorify your name. Fill my heart till all. She is you, Lord. Glory by your Look at my life till all day. She is you, Lord. Glory by your name. Fill my heart till all day. She is you, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus, we glorify your name, Lord God. Tonight we say that you are Alpha, you are Omega, you are the beginning and you are the ending, Father. And we worship you, we worship you, we worship you, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We give you all the glory. Yes, Lord. We worship you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. You are Alpha and Omega. We worship you, our Lord. You are worthy. 
to be praised. You are Alpha and Omega. We worship you are Lord. You are worthy to be praised. We give you all the glory. We worship you are Lord. You are worthy to be praised. We give you the glory. We worship you are Lord. You are worthy to you are Alpha and Omega. We worship you, our Lord. You are worthy to be praised. You are Alpha and Omega. We worship you, our Lord. You are worthy to be praised. We give you. Worthy 
We give you all the glory, Lord. We worship you, God. Hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus. Abba, Father, we exalt you tonight. We exalt you because you are the King of kings and you are the Lord of lords. And we lift our hearts and we lift our voices, oh God. And we exalt you with everything that is within us, Lord. With everything that is within us, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, God. Glory to your name. Hallelujah. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We exalt you, Lord. Thank you. For thou, O Lord, art high above all the earth. Thou art exalted far above all God. For thou, O Lord, art high above all the earth. Thou art exalted far above all God. I exalt thee, I exalt thee, I exalt thee, Thou, O Lord, art high 
above all the earth. Thou art exalted far above all gods. For thou, O Lord, art high above all the earth. Thou art exalted far above all gods. I exalt thee, I exalt thee, I exalt thee, oh Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father God. We exalt you. Be exalted amongst us tonight, God. We praise you. We glorify you. We give you honor in Jesus' name. Amen. Over to you, Sister Ruth. Thank you, Sister Opal. We were really blessed by, by the anointing of those songs tonight. And we just keep that anointing as we introduce Pastor Raul to come and bring the, the message for us tonight. And, and everyone, we just want to take your mute off and thank Sister Opal for blessing us tonight. <clears throat> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Pastor Rao, you could take your mute off and welcome him tonight and welcome the presence of God. By the act of our will, we invite the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit into our lives tonight. And we invite him into this service tonight. And may he open our hearts to receive Pastor Raul as he come to minister to us. And you could take your mute off and, and welcome him tonight. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord, man. Amen. Of God. Praise God. Welcome. Praise God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. God bless you. Bless you, Pastor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, sister. Hallelujah. God bless you. Wonderful to be once again in the fellowship of God's people. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. We are here to celebrate Jesus. We are here to Amen. celebrate him. Hallelujah. And I, I, I also want to welcome all of, uh, all of you and also for those, those of you have, who have joined for the first time, I see Brother Joel. Um, and so we welcome all the new people. Let's clap our hands and welcome our dear saint. Hallelujah. So we welcome all of you. 
I believe Amen. the Lord has a terrific plan for your life. Amen. Hallelujah. And I want to tell you, you are a, each and every one of you is a warrior for Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. You are not a baby. Uh, yeah, you are a child, but you are also a warrior who is called by the Lord Jesus Christ for these times and for these end times. Hallelujah. Amen. And uh, let us continue in the presence of God. So today, let us start off. Hallelujah. So today, <clears throat> even as I was, I was praying for this meeting, the Lord impressed upon my heart to speak on the decrees of heaven versus the decrees on earth. So there are decrees that are made in heaven upon nations. There are judgments that is passed in the courtroom of heaven by God himself. There are judgment and decrees that are passed by watchers in heaven. You see, there is a watchman ministry that we have on earth among believers. But there is also there are also watchers in heaven. And that is discovered in the book of Daniel, uh, in Daniel chapter 4. So we will go there slowly, slowly. But I want to tell you that, that God was telling me for his people here in this meeting. He was telling me that there are decrees and there are prophecies that are already already declared by God upon your life but for it to manifest on earth and in your life it is taking so much time there are powers that are hindering you see whenever God declares something in heaven upon a life of a person or upon nations or upon his children there are powers which will start to fight on earth against those decrees against those prophecies we will go we, we will understand what does it mean? And today, every promise and every prophecy that the Lord has declared upon your life, the devil will not be able to stop its fulfillment in the name of Jesus. That is where we are going to head towards. So we are going to break the powers that are fighting against the word of God for your life, that are fighting against the promises that God has already declared it. But it is not coming to pass. There are powers that are standing against the, that kind of the, those promises, those word of God. Hallelujah. Are we ready? Amen. Let's go to Daniel chapter 2, verse 27 and 28. Daniel chapter 2, verse 27 and 28. Let's read that word first. Hallelujah. Okay. Daniel chapter 2, 27 and 28. Daniel answered in the presence of the king and said, The secret which the king has demanded, the wise man, the wise men, the astrologers, the magicians, and the soothsayers cannot declare to the king. But there is a God in heaven who reveals secrets, and he has made known to King Nebuchadnezzar what will be in the later days. Your dream and the visions of your head upon your bed were these. Okay, let's stop here. So, before now Daniel is standing before the King Nebuchadnezzar. King Nebuchadnezzar has seen a dream. Now, before going in, into this verse, let us understand that King Nebuchadnezzar and the nation of Babylon were an evil nation. Many of us see Nebuchadnezzar as a good king. No, he was not a good king. And neither the nation of Babylon was a good nation. It was an evil demonic nation and King Nebuchadnezzar was an evil proud king. Hallelujah. So here, Daniel and his friends are being taken to captive and all of Judah is being taken to captive to the nation of Babylon. And here, Nebuchadnezzar, in chapter 2, Nebuchadnezzar has a dream and that dream troubles Nebuchadnezzar. Now what happens is, Nebuchadnezzar demands to his soothsayers, to his astrologers and to his wise men to reveal the dream along with the interpretation. And none of the soothsayers, the wise men of Babylon or the astrologers are able to reveal the dream and its interpretation to Nebuchadnezzar. Hallelujah. So what Nebuchadnezzar does is, he gets angry and he passes a judgment, a decree that kill all the wise men of Babylon because they are good for nothing. Now I want you to understand 
that when Nebuchadnezzar has a dream to understand the spiritual realm, he goes to the demonic offices. He goes to people who operate in the demonic offices of soothsaying, witchcraft and astrology. These are all demonic offices who use demonic spirits to tell about the future, to tell about what is going on in the nation and what is going to happen in the future. Hallelujah. They use the spirit of divination. So even as we have offices in the kingdom of God, like the apostolic office, the prophetic office, they have their offices in the demonic kingdom, like the witchcraft office, like the divination office. The divination office is similar to the prophetic office. They use the demonic spirits to predict the future, to tell about people's life. So Nebuchadnezzar, whenever they want to consult spiritual things, whenever this king wants to consult spiritual things, he goes to these people in the operating in the demonic kingdom, operating in the demonic office. Okay, hallelujah. Now I want to tell you the book of Daniel is only is the only book in the Old Testament where Jesus manifested himself. Why? Because Daniel is a man of power. You see, Daniel had went into his uh, ministry of prayer and intercession so deeply that the realities and the revelations of the New Testament started to reveal itself in Daniel and in, and in Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego's time. When you read the book of, when you read the Daniel chapter 3, you see Jesus came inside the fire. Jesus manifested himself. Nebuchadnezzar saw Jesus. When you read Daniel chapter 10, a man came to Daniel and his description in Daniel chapter 10 was as the description of Jesus in Revelation chapter 1. So Daniel, we have to understand, we are going somewhere, just be patient with me. So we have to understand that Daniel is the only book in the Old Testament where Jesus manifested himself. Where Jesus came two times. Why? Because Daniel's ministry of prayer and intercession had gone so deep, Daniel had gone so deep with God that the revelation that was supposed to be revealed 2000 years afterwards, after 2000 years, were revealed to Daniel currently. Hallelujah. Are you with me? So the revelations of the New Testament, the mysteries of the Spirit, the mysteries of the Messiah were revealed to Daniel. I want to tell you, you don't have to be, you don't have to be a prophet to see things. Just go deep in the ministry of intercession. Things will start coming up in front of you. Mysteries will start getting unveiled. Daniel was an intercessor. He was a man of prayer. He understood fasting was important. If you read the book of Daniel. Hallelujah. So we have to understand that the book of Daniel is a, is a kind of contains the revelations of the New Testament. Hallelujah. The other prophets only predicted Isaiah also predicted, but in the book of Daniel, Jesus came. So because of the prayer and intercession ministry of Daniel, there was provocations in the heavenly realm, which brought Jesus on earth in those times. Are you with me? Hallelujah. Is your relationship with God so deep? Is your intercessory ministry so intense that it can bring Jesus again and again on earth? Hallelujah. When I took the series of Mary Magdalene, the end time intercessor, we see Mary Magdalene waited there. Others left from that place and Jesus manifested. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Have you gone so far that you can bring Jesus again and again to manifest in the affairs of men? In the affairs of your nation? In the affairs of to deal with this evil king Nebuchadnezzar? Hallelujah. Nebuchadnezzar did not, you know, the past is not mentioned in the Bible. But when these kind of people like Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego came in the territory of Babylon and they started to proceed with their ministry of prayer and intercession, the king started to have, have dreams that started to trouble him. You see, intercessors are prophets, I told you earlier. And these prophetic intercessors, if they operate in the full measure of their anointing and ministry, they will trouble the prime minister of their nation, who is an evil person. Hallelujah. Are you with me? We are going slowly, slowly somewhere. Hallelujah. So, the prophetic 
and the intercessory ministry is so powerful the dream that nebuchadnezzar had did not come just like that there were intercessors like daniel shadrach meshach and abednego operating in the territory of babylon and a dream came now this dream is not from the devil devil even does not knows about the meaning of the dream that's why the soothsayers the astrologers and the people who did witchcraft they were not able to reveal the dream and its in the interpretation to the king nebuchadnezzar because the mysteries and the secrets of god were are hidden from the demonic kingdom from the devil himself and if if you are a man who carries the secrets of god upon your tabernacle you are a powerful man or you are a powerful woman woman if you carry the secrets and the mysteries of god you see why paul the apostle was so, so powerful because in first corinthians chapter 2 he says to the church of corinthians that consider me as a servant of god and as a, as a steward of the mysteries of god oh my god in the book of job job right job says about in the days of my youth when the secrets of god were upon my tabernacle hallelujah because these secrets and the mysteries the devil does not knows about are you with me till now hallelujah we are we are kind of going and building up in the introduction of today's message and today's prophetic word okay hallelujah so are you understanding that daniel and his friends were powerful people because they were intercessors hallelujah and when the decree was passed you know what happened daniel went to his friends and told them this is what has happened pray that god reveals the dream to us hallelujah and they prayed so they knew how to tap into the supernatural realm daniel and his friends and that night itself the bible says in the vision of a night the dream was revealed to daniel along with its interpretation hallelujah i want to tell you if you take this word carefully and if you receive this word you will tap into the realms of dreams and visions and its interpretation it's very powerful hallelujah now we have to understand we have to understand the words that we read daniel chapter 2 verse 27 and 28 daniel is saying to the king the secret which the king has demanded the wise men the astrologers the magicians and the soothsayers all this people operating in the demonic kingdom they are not able to reveal it to you but there is a god in heaven who reveals secret okay that means this dream by the way this dream that nebuchadnezzar saw it was the dream about the nations it was the dream about the kingdom of the nations and what god was going to do in the future hallelujah you see it was a dream about what was going to happen in the future what god was going to do with the nations and this prophetic dream was this prophetic plan of god was hidden from the devil devil did not had any clue about what is what god is going to do in the future listen to me saints of god the enemy that you are fighting with is unaware what god is going to do in your life in the future are you understanding he is unaware of the plans of god that he is going to execute in the future I know the devil is working in some people's life. I know the devil is working and influencing influencing the nations of the world. But as shrewd and powerful the devil is, but he does not know he does not have the advantage to prepare a perfect plan to defeat us and to defeat God because God's secrets and God's future plans are hidden from him. So the strategies of the devil, however shrewd and however however cunning and smart he is, but he can never prepare a perfect plan to defeat you or to defeat god because he is unaware of what god can do in the future are you with me oh my god hallelujah help us today in jesus name okay now let let me give you an example you see do you believe it was the devil who who led people to persecute jesus and put him on the cross do you believe that it was the non spirits that instigated the pharisees hallelujah to put persecute jesus it was the demonic spirits that instigated judas the disciple of jesus the devil himself wanted to kill jesus unaware of what he is doing unaware that the must the jesus that he is putting on the cross 
the same cross is going to become a threat for his kingdom you see how foolish the devil becomes in front of god and in front of people who carry the mysteries and the secrets of god upon the head oh my god that is why i am telling you the devil can never prepare a perfect plan a strategy to defeat you you cannot be defeated if you carry the mysteries and the secrets of god neither the devil can defeat god because he is unaware of what is what god is going to do in the future hallelujah if you know this for people some of some of us oh esteem the devil so much oh he is so powerful oh he can attack no he is unaware of what god is going to do in your lives he is unaware of what god is going to do in the nations and that's why you know if we know and the advantage that we have do you know every believer is called in the ministry of a watchman i don't want to i will take the watchman series some some other day hallelujah it's a very huge topic but a watchman can see the demonic attacks you know there are there is the anointing of the watchman if someone operates in the office of the watchman the deep hidden strategies of the devil is revealed to a watchman since i am speaking to the people who reside in the united states i have seen many things that the devil was preparing to attack the united states i am i have seen many deep plans many secret things that happens in the secret chambers of the worshipers of satan that they are preparing so we have the advantage of sneaking in and getting in into the strategies of the devil and exposing him but the devil does not have that advantage because the secrets and the mysteries of god that god is going to do is hidden from the demonic kingdom okay are you with me are you understanding hallelujah so today this word receive this word so that you can know and expose the devil you don't have to fear the devil because whatever he is doing in your life he does not has a clue what god is going to do tomorrow god is in control of your lives god is in control of the nations let me tell you that hallelujah hallelujah okay let's go ahead daniel chapter 2 verse 31 onwards daniel chapter 2 verse 30 31 onwards now are we together uh so daniel is explaining here that okay the the he is revealing the dream to the king verse 31 it says you o king were watching and behold a great image this great image whose splendor was excellent stood before you and its form was awesome he he is giving details of the dreams dream to the king this image head was of fine gold its chest and arms of silver its belly and thighs of bronze its legs of iron its feet partly of iron and partly of clay you watched while you watched while a stone was cut out without hands which struck the image on its feet of iron and clay and broke them in pieces then the then the iron the clay the bronze the silver and the gold were crushed together and became like chaff from the summer threshing floor the wind carried them away so that no trace of them was found and the stone that struck the image became a great mountain and filled the whole earth this was the dream that he saw what did he saw he saw a great image a very big idol which was made up of gold which was the head was made up of gold the chest and arms were made up of silver hallelujah the belly and thighs of bronze and the legs of iron and its feet partly of clay and partly of iron okay this was a great image very tall image that nebuchadnezzar saw in the dream and when he saw he saw that a stone was cut without hands and it came and struck the feet and the whole image was was broke down and it came to pieces hallelujah it it was broken down to pieces and the bible says that the small stone that was cut without hands it became so big as a mountain and and it filled the whole earth okay hallelujah this was the dream that nabukadnezar saw and then the interpretation of the dream we will read it verse 36 onwards verse 36 this is the dream now we will tell the interpretation of it before the king 
you o king are a king of kings for the god of heaven has given you a kingdom power strength and glory and wherever the children of men dwell or the beast of the field and the birds of the heaven he has given them into your hands and has made you ru- ruler over them all and you are the head of gold but after you shall arise another kingdom inferior to yours then another a third kingdom of bronze which shall rule over the earth okay and then we will move to verse 44 verse 44 and in the days of these kings the god of heaven will set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed and the kingdom shall not be left to other people it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms and it shall stand forever verse 45 in as much as you saw that the stone was cut out of the mountain without hands and that it broke in pieces the iron the bronze the clay the silver and the gold the great god has made known to the king what will come to pass after this the dream is certain and its interpretation is sure hallelujah are you with me listen to me now now daniel is a prophet and he is a intercessor and a prophetic watchman or a intercessor whenever a announcement is is made in heaven in the court room court room of heaven by god himself or by the watchers in heaven the prophet spirit hallelujah is sent to the tuning of those announcement and he catches those announcement and brings it on the earth that is the that is the job of a prophetic intercessor hallelujah when a decree and when a judgment is passed for the nations of what will, what is going to happen with the nations what is going to happen with the nation with the kingdom of babylon with the current king and the announcement is made in heaven god is sitting in the throne room so the voice that he utters the spirit of a prophet is always tuned to the voices of god to the to the to the announcement that are made in heaven and he he takes he catches those frequencies of the announcement and he brings and prophesies it on the earth and that is what daniel is doing here daniel is declaring what is announced by god the judgment upon the nation of babylon and upon the kingdoms of the earth so what he is saying here that king nebuchadnezzar the great image that you saw the head was of gold this refers to your kingdom which has been influencing the kingdoms and the children that are people that are on earth this powerful powerful kingdom is yours that refers to the head of gold fine gold this is your powerful kingdom that god is referring to in your dream but your kingdom shall not last forever the kingdom of babylon shall fall and after that will come another kingdom made up of silver that means it will be the it will be less powerful than you but it shall take over your kingdom listen to me listen to me then another kingdom shall come and at the end a stone that was cut without hands that refers to the kingdom of god which will destroy all the kingdoms of the earth and the kingdom of god and the holy saints of god shall start ruler, ruling over the realm of the earth he told the king this interpretation now how he told he caught the frequencies of the announcement that were made in heaven and the judgments that were made in heaven and he announced it to the king of king nabukadnezar hallelujah when you bring a mystery of god to a prophet he will unveil it as per the utterances of god a prophet a intercessor a prophet who has his root to the ministry of intercession and watchman ministry they can interpret and unveil the utterances of god very easily hallelujah because these are the people who stay connected to the spirit of god always that is the ministry of this of a prophet to walk closely with god hallelujah many people misinterpret the ministry of a prophet that prophet is the one who tells about the lives of people no that is the word of knowledge a prophet has to be a intercessor has to be a watchman if his roots if his ministry roots are not traced down to intercession and watchman and prayer ministry then he is not a prophet hallelujah he is not a real prophet if he is not walking intimately with god he is not a prophet okay let us not go there are you understanding hallelujah so <clears throat> daniel chapter 2 verse 46 and 47 read let us read that read that and go ahead daniel chapter 2 verse 46 and 47 then nebuchadnezzar fell on his face 
prostrate before Daniel and commanded that they should present an offering and incense and incense to him. The king answered Daniel and said, "Truly, your God is the God of gods, the Lord of kings, and a revealer of secrets. Since you could reveal this secret, secret, Hallelujah! Listen to me. Now, Nebuchadnezzar is a very proud king, very powerful king. Whoever he wants, he executes. Whoever he wants, he keeps alive. He is that kind of a king. No one dares to lift up the lift up his head and argue with the king of King Nebuchadnezzar. This proud and wicked king is bowing in front of a of a servant of God. That is Daniel. Hallelujah! It is the anointing of a prophetic watchman and intercessor that can force wicked kings to bow down at the word and the decree of God. Okay, Hallelujah. When that is the anointing of the prophet, that kings, prime ministers, and presidents fear to come before a prophet. That is the anointing that Elijah carried. As wicked as Ahab was, as wicked as Jezebel was, they were afraid of Elijah because he was a prophet. Because he was a prophet. Listen to me carefully. We need. We have to pray, dear saints of God, dear intercessors. For prophets to arise with this kinds of anointing, before whom the presidents and the prime ministers of the nations will be forced to bow down at the word and the decrees of God, at the word of and the decrees made in heaven. Hallelujah! Are you are you with me? Are you with me? Slowly, slowly, we are going there. Stay with me. Hallelujah! So, why did Nebuchadnezzar had to bow down? This wicked king never bow. He never stood down before anyone, but before Daniel, he has he had to bow down and give glory to Daniel and his God. Hallelujah! This wicked king will never do that. But 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 Hallelujah! The mysteries and the secrets of God upon the head of a prophet makes wicked forces, wicked and wicked people, wicked king, powerful people to bow down at the word and the decree of heaven. Okay, now he bowed down before Daniel. And it seems like Nebuchadnezzar accepted the prophecy. Nebuchadnezzar accepted the decree of heaven, but it was not so. When you go to the next chapter, Daniel chapter three, the Bible speaks about that Nebuchadnezzar had set up an idol, an image of gold. Okay, let us go there. Let us go there. Daniel chapter three, verse one to six. We will read Daniel chapter three. Verse verses one to six. <clears throat> Nebuchadnezzar the king made an image of gold whose height was six cubits and its width six cubits. Now listen carefully. He set it up in the plain of Dura in the province of Babylon. And King Nebuchadnezzar sent word word to gather together the satraps, the administrators, the governors, the counselors, the treasurers, the judges, the magistrates. And all the officials of the provinces to come to the dedication of the image which King Nebuchadnezzar had set up. Verse three. So the satraps, the administrators, the governors, the counselors, the treasurers, the judges, the magistrates, and all the officials of the provinces gathered together for the dedication of the image that Nebuchadnezzar had set up. And they stood before the image that Nebuchadnezzar had set up. Okay. What happened to Nebuchadnezzar? Just In the previous verses, Nebuchadnezzar was bowing down before Daniel, and he was giving glory to the man of God, and he was giving glory to the God who has revealed the secrets. And still, he is doing the acts of an unbeliever, constructing a big idol, and instigating the whole of Babylon, the whole province of Babylon, to worship that so-called idol. What happened to Nebuchadnezzar? Now Nebuchadnezzar confessed God through his mouth, but he did not receive the word and the decree of heaven in his heart. He was offended. Listen to me now. Listen to me. He was offended at what God told him through Daniel. He was offended at that, but he did not show at that at that moment. Okay. So he confessed, "Oh God is wonderful. The, the 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 God of Daniel is the God of gods. Is the King of kings, and so on and so forth." He is confessing God through his mouth, but he is not believing in his heart and receiving in his heart the word that came about the kingdoms of the earth. 
Why? Because Nebuchadnezzar was a selfish and proud king. He got offended because he uh, he heard that my kingdom will not not last forever. There is another kingdom, the kingdom of this God, which will last forever on this earth. And he was so selfish in his heart. He had the desire: no, my glory, my kingdom, my power has to last forever. So this Nebuchadnezzar was possessed with a demonic principality, which wanted to take the place of God and wanted to. Function and carry out the kingdom on earth, which will last forever, and remove the kingdom of God and hinder the kingdom of God from coming on the earth. Are you with me? Are you understanding how Nebuchadnezzar is? Now, after hearing from Daniel the decree that is made in heaven, okay, after hearing this, he worshipped God. He said, "This God is wonderful." This and that. He went back to his bedroom, and he started. The demonic spirit influenced him. how he can reverse the decree and the announcement that is made from heaven are you with me hallelujah and as nebuchadnezzar always does he consults with the magicians with the soothsayers with the astrologers and he consulted with them now this is not written in the bible listen to me these are things deep in the spirit hallelujah that we see we prophet see with the eyes of revelation Do you know evangelist Renard Bonke, who is no more among us, but he was a powerful man of God. And once he was praying to God, and he was asking a question to God, he was asking God, Lord, you show me what did Jesus pray for the whole night before choosing the apostles, the disciples. The Bible says the whole night Jesus prayed on the mountain, mountain, and then he came from evening until. the next morning he prayed and then he came and started choosing the disciples the 12 disciples and renard bonke had this burden to know lord show me show me the revelation what did jesus pray and even as he was praying the lord took him in the spirit on the mountain where jesus was praying and jesus was praying there bowing down and he was beside jesus in the spirit and he stood down and he neared jesus came near to jesus to hear what jesus was praying and he heard the words of jesus he was continuously play, praying that lord not my will let your will be done i don't want to choose anyone you choose them you see bible is not just a mere book there is a deep ocean that is hidden inside this word hallelujah and there are saints and clouds of witnesses who have traveled deep inside the realm of the spirit i don't have time how do how i receive but this is how we travel into the word of god deep in the realms of the spirit deep in the depth of the oceans where mysteries of god are hidden hallelujah my lord may the holy spirit take you there today in the name of jesus hallelujah are you guys with me Hallelujah. Are you able to take this? Amen. Okay, we will continue. Hallelujah. So so listen listen listen. Now Nebuchadnezzar was offended at the word at the decree of heaven. And he he started consulting consulting the demonic mediums. You did not know about it right now Daniel has revealed what God what this God wants to do. We know the decree of heaven. Let's reverse the decree of heaven. Let's reverse the announcement. and these people consulted together and a satanic ritual was suggested to nebuchadnezzar okay stay with me and they suggested that nebuchadnezzar if you build a idol and ensure that you make this idol the whole idol of gold from the head to its feet let it be of gold now this idol will signify your kingdom and your ministry that will last always that will stay forever and you make this idol and you make every head in babylon bow, bow down to this idol and when the satanic ritual is completed the decrees of heaven that the lord has made will not be able to manifest on earth okay are you able to understand there is a reason why Nebuch- nebuchadnezzar has made this idol and he has passed a decree that each and every one in babylon has to bow down to this idol and if anyone does not bow down to the idol he will be killed he will be burned 
in the furnace of fire why because if any head in babylon rejects to bow down to this idol that satanic ritual cannot be completed and the announcement of heaven cannot be re uh, reversed you see how how which people who do witchcraft people who do satanic ritual they function like this people who go to to witches and wizards they will say oh i have a person he is a christian she is a christian and this is this 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 person is doing and what the witch and wizard say that we need to do a ritual and through by when the ritual will be completed we can reverse what this person is doing they reverse thing they reverse the activities of heaven they reverse they reverse the decrees of heaven they reverse so are you understanding are you understanding when god makes an announcement and the prophet prophesies immediately there are powers that fight against the fulfillment of those prophecies are you understanding are you are you with me that is why elijah prophesied i hear the sound of abundance of rain ahab go to your house eat and drink because the rain is going to come but he went on the, on, on the mountain and the rain did not come why because after he prophesied powers in the atmosphere started to hinder it was it was the spirit and the powers of baal and ashtoreth that started to fight against the decree that elijah made are you understanding god has said so many things about your life and there are powers who are fighting against it but today they will be resisted in the name of jesus today they will be defeated in the name of jesus the decrees of heaven shall come to pass in your life it shall be fulfilled in the mighty name of jesus alleluia alleluia come on people i i i i want to let me take a few seconds break remove your mute and say amen if you are with me hallelujah amen 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 i'm with you brother amen 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 hallelujah listen 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 are you understanding how demonic the babylon the nation of babylon was are you understanding how demonic this king nebuchadnezzar was so he prepared a satanic ritual hallelujah amen and the idol was set up made up of gold not only the head the whole idol was made up of gold signifying the reign of ba babylon the reign of king nabukadnezar should last forever and the satanic ritual was this that if every head bowed down to the idol the satanic ritual will be completed and the decree of heaven will be nullified okay hallelujah listen to me now now <clears throat> daniel let's 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 uh, let's see daniel chapter 3 let's see daniel chapter 3 verse 16 to 18 let's read that daniel chapter 3 verse 16 to 18 shadrach meshach and abednego oh my god here come the men of god hallelujah shadrach meshach and abednego the friends of daniel answered and said to the king nebuchadnezzar oh nebuchadnezzar we have no need to answer you in this matter we have no need to answer you in this matter if that is the case our god whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace and he will deliver us from your hand o king but if not let it be known to you o king that we do not serve your gods nor we will worship the gold image which you have set up hallelujah riba man sakaraba lial taraba riba la hal sial taraba my god these three men of god come before the king nabukadnezar why they are brought before the king nabukadnezar because they have not bowed down to the idol and they come and what how they speak to the king they say to the king that we have no business to answer you in this matter because we are not going going to bow down to your god neither we are going to bow down to an idol because the god whom we serve is able to deliver us and even if we die he does not deliver us but still we will stay loyal to our god and stay faithful to our god listen 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 if you are a christian who has a non compromising standard on your belief on your faith and on your god you become a hindrance in the satanic rituals that the that the devil wants to carry out oh nebuchadnezzar became so angry after this he told 
he got the phone us seven times why he became angry because oh my god these people are, are becoming a hindrance in carrying out the satanic ritual in carrying out my ritual and if these people don't bow down to my god to the idol uh, my reign shall not be forever so let us kill shadrak meshak and abednego are you understanding the revelation now why nebuchadnezzar is getting angry because the satanic ritual that he wanted to complete it was hindered because of three men of god who had a backbone and they would not bow down to the world they would not bow down to the idols they will not bow down to the systems and the rules that the government is bringing they will stay true to that to their god hallelujah now these guys did not have a revelation of what is happening in the realm of the spirit but they were loyal, loyal. that is why they said we don't know if god will deliver us or not but even if he does not deliver us but we will stay loyal to our god so you see faithfulness to god is higher than revelation let me repeat that faithfulness to god is higher than revelation shadrach meshach and abednego did not had a clue what this satanic ritual is about they did not had a clue that they will be saved in the fire that they are not fighting just for their faith they are fighting for the decree that was made in heaven when you stay faithful to god and don't bow down before idols you don't even know you are fighting for the decrees of heaven and god will come to your rescue because why god will come to your rescue because he he does not only want, wants to protect you but he wants to protect his own word that he has declared oh my god are you with me makran darabal setaya mando it is not about shadrak meshak and abednego's life now the fight is between god and the devil hallelujah and we are his warriors who are not ready to bow down to the rules that the government is releasing we will not bow down in the name of jesus hallelujah hallelujah i am i am i am preach i am teaching this this is a this is not a normal teaching i am teaching this because this teaching is going to bring the kingdom of god in the united states in canada in south america in the north america in the nations of the world hallelujah god is preparing such a kind of generation hallelujah who will be who will know the techniques of the enemy and who will be able to subdue kingdoms by the power of mystery and revelation many christians are so in the flesh they are baby christians oh this man of god can perform healings miracles he is powerful no 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 daniel did not perform any healings and miracles but yet he was powerful because he operated in the revelations in the mysteries of the spirit realm hallelujah listen 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 hallelujah so so not this down those who do not bow down to the devil are a hindrance to the rituals and the plans of the devil because of which he attacks such people to kill them do you know why the devil is attacking you today you you are not bowing down to idols you are being faithful to god why he wants to attack you some of you he wants to kill you he wants to destroy your life why because you are becoming a hindrance to his satanic rituals the things that he is carrying out against the decrees of heaven you are coming in between and you are stopping the devil your faithfulness to, of god is becoming a hindrance to the devil to carry out his plans on earth those who will stand with jesus on that day the book of revelation says that they will be called the faithful ones they will be called the faithful ones the faithful ones shall stand with him okay hallelujah so the bible says that let's let's read daniel chapter 3 verse 19 verse 19 onwards then nebuchadnezzar was full of fury and the expression on his face changed towards shadrach meshach and abednego he spoke and commanded that they heat the furnace seven times more than it usually heated and he commanded certain men mighty men of valor who were in his army to bind shadrach meshach and abednego and cast them into the burning fiery furnace then these men were bound in their coats their trousers their turbans and their other garments 
and were cast into the midst, midst of the burning fiery furnace therefore because the king's command was urgent and the furnace exceedingly hot listen to this the flame of the fire killed those men who took up shadrach meshach and abednego and these three men shadrach meshach and abednego fell down bound into into the midst of the burning fiery furnace then king nabukadnezar was astonished and he rose in haste and spoke saying to his counselors did we not cast three men bound into the midst of the fire they answered and said to the king true o king look he answered i see four men loose walking in the midst of the fire and they are not hurt and the form of the fourth is like the son of god listen to me you see jesus manifested in the old testament with in the fire jesus came in the old testament listen to me now why jesus came there there is a reason why jesus came there hallelujah oh real saraba help us lord in the mighty name of jesus karra sal taraba reba lahal sial taraba let us pray for few minutes paraya mon taraya second ya bala gajma regala gajma na raga de mos segena manda dene araya hatri antoro ya bakad manere la bara baba ba shabra bala hal taraba na every power standing against this revelation स्टैचर then shadrach meshach and abednego they took shadrach meshach and abednego towards the fiery furnace the bible says that the fire of the furnace were, was not able to burn shadrach meshach and abednego but it burned the men that were pushing shadrach meshach and abednego in the fire listen to me listen to me listen to me. hallelujah this is a fire of witchcraft that the devil uses to burn those burn the people of god destroy and kill the people of god but in the mighty name of jesus the fire that the devil is using to destroy you cannot destroy you but it will destroy the devil and his agents in the name of jesus the fire could not destroy the men of god the servants of god but it destroyed the men of nabukadnezar you see how the devil digs a hole to put you inside it but he falls inside it himself hallelujah and then the bible says Nebuchadnezzar saw into the fire and he saw four men loosened the fire could not destroy the people who did not bow down to the idol but it destroyed the bondages that were there upon their upon their lives upon their upon their body hallelujah listen to me the fire that the devil is putting you inside it will not destroy you but it will it will destroy the bondages of the devil himself that are upon your life upon the life it destroyed the bondages and he saw four men walking loose inside the fire and the bible says nebuchadnezzar said the fourth one looks like the son of god now why did jesus came in the fire that it it was not only to rescue and to save shadrach meshach, meshach and abednego but it was to save his kingdom that was going to come the kingdom which will last forever it was the kingdom of jesus christ that's why jesus christ manifested in the new, in the in the old testament in the book of daniel because are you understanding the revelation nebuchadnezzar was fighting against the decree of heaven against the kingdom of jesus christ this antichrist spirit is going to manifest soon and we are going to see this antichrist spirit that was there in the king nebuchadnezzar hallelujah but god is preparing the daniel's here god is preparing the shadrach meshach and abednego here to fight when he comes <laughs> hallelujah hallelujah listen to me prime ministers and presidents are possessed many of them with this spirit 
Hallelujah. With the Spirit. And God is raising up Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, Daniel's brothers and sisters, intercessors and prophets who will become a hindrance to their plans. In the mighty name of Jesus. Do not worry. He will bring, he will put you in fire, but the fire will never be able to destroy you. It will destroy the devil himself. It will destroy the bondages that he has put upon your life, but you will not be destroyed. You see, if you are fighting for his kingdom, the captain, the king of the kingdom will, will, will come to your rescue. The king is faithful. Hallelujah. If you fight for his kingdom, if you are a person who wants to bring the kingdom of God on earth, the king will always be with you. He will protect you. He will give you special protection. He will give you special security. He will give you special weapons. He will give you special revelations. He will give you special powers because you are fighting for the king and you are trying to bring the kingdom of God on earth. Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego fought for the king whom they were worshipping. Jehovah God. Hallelujah. And they saw Jesus. Oh my God. They saw Jesus. They saw Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 It is not about my ministry. It is not about your ministry, your life. It is about the kingdom of God. Remember that. And we are kingdom warriors. We are supposed to bring the kingdom of God. So the furnace of fire is the fire of witchcraft, which Satan used to destroy those who are a hindrance to his plans and works. You see, today I want to speak to some people. The reason why Satan is attacking you and some of you, he wants to kill you and destroy you. Hallelujah. But I want to tell you today, Hallelujah. He cannot kill you. He cannot destroy you. His fire cannot destroy you. And he wants to destroy you because you are becoming a hindrance to the execution of his satanic rituals. Hallelujah. Because unknowingly you are fighting for the decrees and the announcement of heaven. For the prophecies and the announcement and the judgments that God is releasing on the earth upon the nations of the world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you with me now? Okay. Verse 29, Daniel chapter 3, verse 29. It says, therefore I make a decree. Now, Nebuchadnezzar saw Jesus and then he again melted down. He melted down. We will read from verse 28, right? We will read from verse 28. Let's go to 28. Nebuchadnezzar spoke saying, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego who sent his angel and delivered his servants who trusted in him. And they have frustrated the king's word and yielded their bodies that they should not serve nor worship any god except their own god. Verse 29. Therefore, now you see, therefore I make a decree that any people, nation or language which speaks against a miss against the god of Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego shall be cut in pieces and their houses shall be made an ash heap because there is no other god who can deliver like this. Listen to me. Once again, the men of God forced King Nebuchadnezzar to reverse his decree. Hallelujah. Now, the decree of heaven here again overpowered and won over the decree of the earth. Hallelujah. Nebuchadnezzar made a decree that all people, nations and languages which speak against the God of Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego, they shall be killed. In other words, the decree that the Lord has passed that my kingdom shall end and his kingdom shall come. That, re that decree remains. And I, I was not able to defeat that decree. Hallelujah. Are you with me? Are you with me? But still, still, listen. The heart of Nebuchadnezzar hasn't changed. Okay? His, his heart has, hasn't changed. But God was able to break the powers of witchcraft and of satanic ritual and implement and fulfill his decree. And Jesus won. If, if Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego were not there, the satanic ritual would have been passed. And we would not have seen Jesus' kingdom coming in the end days. You see how, how heaven works? How heaven works? The strategies of heaven? How people are used in the heavenly, operating in the, in the spiritual realm? Hallelujah. Listen to me. When you go to Daniel, Daniel chapter 4, there you see Nebuchadnezzar saw another dream. Nebuchadnezzar again, he has a dream. And what he sees that there is a huge tree. Let, let us read Nebuchadnezzar, uh, sorry, Daniel chapter 4, Daniel chapter 4, verse 14, 15 and 16. 
Daniel chapter 4 verse 14 15 and 16 Okay <clears throat> Let's read from verse 13 I saw in the vision of my head while on my bed and there was a watcher a holy one coming down from heaven he cried aloud and said thus chop down the tree and cut off its branches strip off its leaves scatter its fruits let the beast get out from under it and and the birds from its branches never be lost never be lost leave the stump and roots in the earth bound with a band of iron and bronze in the tender grass of the field let it be wet with the dew of heaven and let him graze with the beast of a uh, beast on the grass of, of the earth verse 16 let his heart be changed from that of a man let him be given the heart of a beast and let seven times pass over him this decision is by the decree of the watchers and and the sentence by the word of the holy ones in order that the living may know that the most high rules in the kingdom of men gives it to whomever he wills and sets over it the lowest of men hallelujah listen now nebuchadnezzar heart has not changed and what god wants to do here he is he wants to he he wants to implement his kingdom and destroy the nation of babylon that is what his strategy is and this proud king nebuchadnezzar who still thinks in his heart that he is the owner of this kingdom he had a dream again and the bible says he saw a very huge tree under which the birds of heaven and all the beast of the field were coming and finding shelter but a decree came from whom from the watchers of heaven and the sentence was was generated by the words of the holy ones now who is taking the king nebuchadnezzar out of his glory out of his kingdom it was the watchers in heaven and it was the holy ones that means the intercessors and the warriors on earth hallelujah listen to me there are watchers in heaven who keep watches over the kingdoms of the earth who keep watches over the kingdom of the us of canada of india of pakistan of russia of ukraine hallelujah i don't want to go into nation prophecies directly i will go in those things some day some other day but listen to me now but there are watchers who keep watch from heaven over the kingdoms and over the prime ministers and the pre- presidents and they work in uni- unison with the intercessors on earth with you and me who intercede and who are prophets who are watchmen on earth the watchers of heaven and the watchers on earth work together to uproot demonic kingdoms and to bring the kingdom of god that is what is happening here hallelujah and it came from the decree of the watchers and from the sentence of the holy ones that this tree shall be, shall be cut off but the the, the stem of the tree shall, shall be left and it shall be bound with the band for until seven years passes over it and then when you read the bible ahead we don't have time today to go into that but the bible says nebuchadnezzar again consulted the soothsayers the magicians the astrologers again he went you see how how possessed he is with wickedness and evil again and again god is revealing himself to nebuchadnezzar but he is not understanding he is not ready to give up his pride and humble himself down before god and all of those demonic people were not able to give him the interpretation again because the interpretation lies with the prophets and then again he had to come to daniel and daniel interpreted the dream for the king he told the king the big tree the huge tree refers to you nebuchadnezzar you need to repent of your iniquities and and repent of your wicked works because this is what the meaning of it is that you will be cut off from your kingdom and seven times shall pass over you you shall be given in the wilderness and your heart of man will be taken out from you and you will be given a heart of a an animal of a beast you shall behave like a mad man your glory will be taken away your kingdom will be taken away hallelujah till you realize that there is a god who rules in heaven till you realize in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus those nebuchadnezzar today sitting on the thrones of the nations lord strike them as you struck nebuchadnezzar in the name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus every wicked and evil person take off their glory today in the name of jesus take them out of the kingdom in the mighty name of jesus till they realize and believe in their heart 
that you are the god who rules in heaven and without your permission they cannot do anything in the mighty name of jesus let the presidents and the prime ministers of nations submit to your will submit to your decrees submit to you in the name of jesus let the presidents of the united state submit to you in the mighty name of jesus okay listen now hallelujah and the bible says when nebuchadnezzar was in his balcony and when he spoke oh is this not the kingdom that i have built for my own sake and for my own glory a voice came from heaven and they took out nebuchadnezzar and they put him in the wilderness and he became like a mad man his nails grew like the nails of the birds and his hair grew like the feathers of of an eagle he lost his conscious he lost his his glory he lost his kingdom hallelujah let us read daniel chapter 4 verse 30 to 35 ah hallelujah okay we will read from daniel chapter daniel chapter 4 verse 34 verse 34 listen to it now and at the end of the time i nebuchadnezzar lifted my eyes to heaven and my understanding returned to me and i bless the most high and praised and honored him who lives forever for his dominion is an everlasting dominion and his kingdom is from generation to generation all the inhabitants of the earth are reputed as nothing he does according to his will in the army of heaven and among the inhabitants of the earth no one can restrain his hand or say to him what have you done oh nebuchadnezzar now he is speaking from his heart hallelujah now he is speaking from his heart and he is saying that all the inhabitants of the earth are reputed as nothing he does according to his will in the army of heaven and among the inhabitants of the earth no one can restrain him hallelujah now the wicked king is submissive to god hallelujah it took a long process for him to bring under the jurisdiction and the submission of the most high god hallelujah no longer now he will use demonic powers to fight the decrees of heaven now the kingdom of god that is going to come the decree is established on earth in the mighty name of jesus you see there is a long spiritual warfare for the decrees and the prophecies of god to be implemented on this earth a very long spiritual warfare next friday we are going to go into daniel chapter 5 and chapter 6 Hallelujah where in the son of Nebuchadnezzar now comes in hallelujah and we will see how Daniel is elevated in the realms of the spirit to be the ruler over the kingdom of Babylon okay but we will go into those chapters next time but as of now take this download in the spirit i think it is enough hallelujah listen to me now in a demonic nation with an evil king the dominion of god continues because of a intercessor watchmen and prophets who would not bow down to the devil and who would be connected to the spirit of god hallelujah if you want god's kingdom to come in your nation if you want god's kingdom to come in your city in your state you have to be like daniel you have to be like shadrach meshach and abednego operating in the mysteries of the spirit and operating hallelujah in the unseen realm and not bowing down to the idols to the rules that the government is releasing which is completely against the rules of heaven and the decrees of heaven if there are people if god is able to find people such kind of people in your nation god will be able to subdue the territory of the enemy hallelujah in the name of jesus christ krabala antropolo santra we are going to pray and we are going to go into a time of prayer brebala saldrabana shaldra bakadamanare retayaba sakadara balaha i want people of god to raise up your voices hallelujah you are chosen not to build one church you are chosen to build to bring his kingdom to subdue territories rebraba saltara bala hai sialtara ba to win nations for christ to win nations for for christ hallelujah this season that we are in this is the season of the intercessors and the watchmen hallelujah this is the season of prophetic intercessors this is a season season of apostles in the mighty name of jesus and the lord is releasing that knowledge the lord is releasing that mystery that revelation upon some of you today in the name of jesus rekhaya bala soya banti anta ragal shagal ji alta prepare your spirit for few minutes by speaking in tongues rekanta raya banta 
Mrebala kandra bala kadari ya usete. Shabana mama kandra kasho badana. Rulansia, come on people of God, raise up your voice and speak in tongues. Hallelujah. Everyone lay your hand on your head. Lay your hand on your head. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. I, I want to pray for the strongholds that are there in the human mind, in your head. And the devil is using that as a territory in your mind to influence you and take you away from God. By the weapon that I have, that is mighty in God and not carnal, I pull down that stronghold today. In the name of Jesus. That stronghold that is in your mind, I pull it down today in the mighty name of Jesus. That stronghold in our mind that is not able to allowing us to function as per the workings of the Spirit, we pull it down today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Listen to me, listen to me. We, 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 we will pray every decree and every prophecy made upon your life that is not, not yet fulfilled. And the powers and the witchcraft powers and satanic rituals that are fighting against those decrees and those prophecies. Today we come against it with the blood of Jesus. Today we come against it with the rod of the yes. apostolic. And we command those demonic powers. We destroy you today in the name of Jesus. You cannot stand between God's people and God's plan. You cannot stand against the decrees of heaven. You cannot stand against the utterances of God in their lives. God has spoken to you. God has released it on you. And today it will come to pass. In the name of Jesus, every power standing against the fulfillments of the decrees of heaven, those demonic powers, some witchcraft powers, sorcery, in the name of Jesus, let it be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. I command you to lead the lives of God's people today. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lead now in the name of Jesus. Every word and every good thing that the, Lord, that the Lord had spoken for Israel, everything came to pass. Nothing was left undone. I decree and declare every decree of heaven upon your life upon your family every prophecy every promise that the lord has released from heaven it shall come to pass today every powers of witchcraft every fire of the devil trying to destroy you it shall destroy the devil but not you in jesus name but the decree and the prophecy of god your marriages will be restored in jesus name your husband will come to you in the mighty name of jesus the job will come to you in the mighty name of jesus you shall be a millionaire in the mighty name of jesus hallelujah and god, some of you god has God has told you that you are a prosper, for prosperous person. God has told you you are a kingdom financer. But you are not able to be a kingdom financer. In the name of Jesus, those powers that are fighting the word of God in your life, I destroy it today. You are a kingdom financer. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. For those who don't have children, in the name of Jesus, I declare a generation in Jesus' mighty name. Some of you have a prophecy that you will have a child, but yet you don't have a child. In Jesus' mighty name, you shall have a child in the mighty name of Jesus. 
Riba, some of you, God has promised you a ministry, but you see nothing is happening. In the mighty name of Jesus, those powers that are fighting you, those powers of witchcraft that are that are fighting you, those powers of satanic ritual that are fighting you, they will be destroyed today in the name of Jesus. Exactly the ministry and the calling and the vision you have, let it be fulfilled in your life. I shift you, I shift your ministry, I shift your calling into the things and the decrees of God, into the promises that have come from heaven. In the mighty name of Jesus, I shift you into the prophecies of God. I shift you into the plans of God right now. Shift now in the name of Jesus. Some of you, God has, God has told you that God will use you and your family for his kingdom. But there are fights in your family. There are arguments in your family. In the mighty name of Jesus, the powers that are fighting the prophecy and the word of God right now be destroyed in your family. You and your household shall serve the Lord. In the name of Jesus, your family shall be united. Your family shall live in love. In Jesus' mighty name, I release it in the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, people of God. I want to pray for someone. I want to pray for a lady I see. I see a lady. There is a woman in this meeting. And this woman has problems in periodic cycles and hormonal problems. You have problem in your periodic cycles and hormonal problems. The Lord is touching you now. That, that problems in the hormone and irregular, irregular periods in the mighty name of Jesus. God is, God is touching that area. In the mighty name of Jesus, God is touching you now. Be healed in the mighty name of Jesus. This, this, this problem that you have is a cause of a, of a spiritual hold in your body. And I command that spiritual hold to come out of your body now in Jesus' mighty name. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Whoever it is, receive it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Shakra balde rebe. Oh, ribala hal siyantomo. Rabaya mana rabala hadi yandorobo. Riba, I, I want to pray for some people here. The Lord is showing me. There is still conflict in your family. There is still conflict with your family members. There is, there is still negativity. The thoughts, devil is attacking you with negative thoughts. Today I break the spell of those demons upon your life today. In Jesus' mighty name. I break the spell of witchcraft, witchcraft upon your lives today. In the mighty name of Jesus. That demonic spell that has been influencing you and your husband and your family. Come out in the name of Jesus today. I see some people talking about ending their life. I want to die. I want to die. I am no good. Talking about death. In Jesus mighty name. It's, there is a demonic spell which is instigating you to speak in that way. You shall not die, but you shall live and declare the works of God. In the mighty name of Jesus, that spell of demons, that spell of witchcraft, I command that spell to leave your head now. Now, now, out now, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Real Sialabo, Nian Srebendiando. Mara Baba Barabala Hal Shatayabano. Mara Barabala Hal Sial Draba. Every mountains that are hindering you to go closer to God, to go towards your destiny, to accomplish what God has called you to do. Those mountains standing in your way, I cast them into the sea today. I cast them into the sea today. In Jesus' name, I stretch forth my hand. I stretch forth my hand against those mountains and I command you to be cast into the sea today. I see, I, I see some things on the ground. Some powers are holding you onto the ground. Like you are stuck on the ground. Stuck on the surface of the earth. I break those powers today. You are getting delivered now in the name of Jesus Christ. You are being held on the ground. And that's why that's why you are not able to overcome the mountains. Hallelujah. The mountains are very huge. They are very big. They are elevated. But you are stuck to the ground. I release you today by the blood of Jesus and by the rod of the apostolic ministry. In the mighty name of Jesus. That, that, that attachment, that bondage, break now. That, that witchcraft, break now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Rebala, Shadrabala, Halsia. Oh, you seem, there is a destiny for you. 
but but there are mountains you see what i'm say, what i'm saying there are mountains and you have been attached to the ground and you think that you are not even able eligible to go closer to your destiny or to do anything such a kind of situation you are into but that hold is breaking today in the mighty name of jesus thank you thank you, thank you. Listen, listen listen there is a person who who is thinking like this the lord has spoken to you through many prophets the lord has given you his word personally but you think it is impossible for me even to go close to it even to attempt even to attempt what god has for me because you are held to the ground powers from the ground that are demo, demonic holds from the ground that are holding you and you are stuck there and the mountains are big but today i declare supernatural i declare supernatural in your life in jesus name what is impossible for you is possible for my god in jesus name you will come out of that earth you will come out of that bondage and you shall leap over the mountains bible says david said by my god i shall leap over a wall you shall leap over those hindrances today in the name of jesus i declare supernatural strength i declare supernatural speed to leap over every hindrances that is coming in your way today in the name of jesus and the bible says that the hand of the lord came upon elijah and he overtook and overran the chariots of ahab ahab the same hand is coming upon you today in the name of jesus as it came upon elijah in jesus mighty name every delays in your life are getting destroyed today in jesus name hallelujah you are not able to move forward you are stuck at one place but today the lord is releasing you for the spirit of the lord and the hand of the lord is coming heavily upon you in the mighty name of jesus christ hallelujah prala sekra yamana real trabala hai siandrobo mara mando kosha gadamana manade al sayara bala hal dial daraba mara wala hal dia listen to me we will take another prayer point and we will end here you know two weeks back i saw something about israel and us i saw there was a stage set up and it was like a stage of the united nations or something like that and there were there was the government officials of the, of the nation of israel on that stage hallelujah and i heard in the spirit someone speaking to me and that voice told me that if israel accepts it the people of israel will also accept it if the government of israel accepts it the people of israel will also accept it i heard this from the realm of the spirit and then after i heard it i saw president joe biden and donald trump on that stage standing together shoulder to shoulder they were standing together on that stage and they were laughing and smiling wickedly and they were standing together on the stage and there was a there was a pulpit there like a book stand there and as they were standing there and in front of the stage there were crowds of people many people were there in front of the stage hallelujah okay and they were what they were standing together shoulder to shoulder like they both of them were friends and they were smiling wickedly and what happened joe biden took something out of that stand like a like a bomb like a explosive and he threw that that explosive in the crowd where people were standing and when the explosive dropped in in the crowd it did not burst with fire but it burst with some energies and those energies started to possess some people there and the people started to shake their hands and their leg and fall on the ground like they are under a epileptic attack this is what i saw this is what i saw hallelujah listen to me there are evil decrees that are going to be passed and israel is going to accept it and the people of israel are going to accept it and these decrees are related to the coming of the antichrist and the mark of the beast the reason why why joe biden and donald trump i saw them standing together because there is a peace agreement that happened which is by the name abraham abrahamic accord something like that where donald trump initiated a peace agreement with, between the nation of israel and saudi arabia do you know the nation of israel and saudi arabia together are working towards are working towards bringing the one world government and the mark of the beast do you know saudi arabia what is happening there it's a muslim nation and they are not even allowed to do anything that is against the muslim religion but 
people are coming there concerts are being held there and people from bollywood and hollywood they are performing there and girls are half naked and drinking alcohol there okay i i am just giving you a gist but but this is what is happening saudi arabia and israel this peace accord which trump has initiated joe biden will carry it out and something is going to be released through these things that will come in the nation of us and that will start tormenting the people of us physically hallelujah listen to me two months back two three months back i saw that people i was in a meeting and people were coming in the meeting to be healed and people were lining up to be prayed and i started praying for people two young boys came on a wheelchair to me in the dream they came on the wheelchair i started to address and minister to the person to the boy who was there on the left side sitting on a wheelchair okay and this boy what happened is hallelujah he he when when i saw him he got up from the wheelchair but he was so tired and he was so exhausted and i started asking him what is your problem and then he was not able to tell me anything but he was so exhaust, exhausted but people around me started to tell me his mind is not in his control someone else controls his mind okay people around me started to tell me about this boy and he is so disobedient and he is so rebellious he cannot think by himself his mind is not in his control then as soon as they told me this the spirit of the lord came upon me in the dream and i laid hands on this boy and as soon as the, i laid hands he fell under the anointing he fell down god you know the anointing struck him and he fell at a very high speed he fell down on the ground and the people brought him up i told him Br- bring him up the second time i laid hands on him he fell down and what i saw that his head was made up of a plastic it was like a head of a robot and the head broke apart and i saw i saw screws in the head inside his head i thought in the dream i thought what happened what happened to this guy there was screws in his head and when i prayed for him the it was a plastic head i don't know which material it was but it was like a robot head it broke off hallelujah listen to me we are living in the end times hallelujah where satan is is going to introduce the mark of the beast hallelujah listen to me the lord told me about this dream that implantations will be now start they will start to do implantations in the head of a person implant some things implant some i don't know but like the vaccine implant some things in the head of the person and they will they are going to control those people like robots like robots the other day when i was praying i saw a vision i saw so many robots coming and fighting against me so many robots hallelujah listen to me hallelujah this is what is happening in our world hallelujah the the times are going to get difficult hallelujah you just uh, cannot trust men, you know cannot depend on men of god to pray for you you have to be a intercessor and watchman for your own life and family in these times hallelujah hallelujah but Amen. the hallelujah. and you know the lord told me the lord told me i had an i had a accident in the month of january i the accident i had the left side of my the headlight of my car it broke off and the bumper came off hallelujah and when i had that accident i started praying and investigating in the spirit i uh, in the evening when i came home and i asked started asking the lord is it by chance or were there powers involved in this accident and then the lord took me back in the month of november 2021 where i saw a dream where in, in front of a flyover there was a there was a car crash one after the other and my car also went and crashed and my whole whole the 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 whole body of my car became like a trash bin and i came out of the car i was safe but i saw the whole car became like a trash bin it was crushed to pieces and a police officer was standing in front of me and then i realized the area where my accident happened it was in front of a flyover and a police officer was standing there the same place which i saw in november happened to me in the month of january why because i am a watchman before if 
the devil wants to attack and kill me in the month of January, God will show it to me in the month of November. So that by the ministry of prayer and intercession, I can destroy what he wants to do to my life. Yes, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Let me you open my dear friends. Thank you. you know, in the month of January, I was on a very long fast. I locked, locked myself up in a hotel room. I was away from my house and I was on a, on a very long fast. On the first day of the fast, I had a dream. And in the dream, I saw my car completely, you know, trashed. The bumpers, the indicators, the lights came off. And I was in the basement. This is my car. And I, I came here and I saw and I put my hands on my head. What has happened to my car? And I saw the bumpers and everything, the headlights, headlights, indicators, everything is damaged. And I came here and I started in, in, investigating my car. It is a two-door car. It is a five-seater car. Okay. And I came here, I came here, I came here. When I saw at the passenger, passenger door at the back of my car, I saw a dent. And this dent was in the shape of a dove, as if a dove has hit the car on the back door of the car, on the on this side of the car. Okay, this is the car on this side, back door. A dove has come and hit in the dream. Hallelujah. And then I realized my accident happened after that, after 15 days from that dream. And then I realized actually what happened in that in that accident was I was driving my car like this, and suddenly it was a crossroad. A truck came in front of me. A truck. And I don't know how, but the, uh, my car was supposed to dash the truck from front. And if, if it, 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 it dashed the car, if my car dashed the truck from front, my car would have been crushed and I would have been injured. But what happened really in the accident was only my left side bumper was damaged. Only my left side bumper was damaged. Then I realized that in that dream, the Lord had shown me that even as my car was going and the truck came in front, the Holy Spirit then came and dashed my car on the back side of my door. So when it dashed my car on the back side of my door, my car turned like this. So the impact was only on one side. It did not come from forward. You see how the, how, what are the operations of the Spirit, you see? Oh my Lord. If you are not a watchman and an intercessor, the devil will eat you up. You have to be a watchman. I release that anointing upon you today in Jesus' mighty name. I release that anointing. That every plan of the enemy that he is doing against your life will be exposed in the mighty name of Jesus in front of you. You see, those people who are not a watchman in the spirit, every attack take them by surprise. Oh brother, suddenly that attack come, I don't know what to do. That means you had not been watching in the spirit, brother. From the time I have received this anointing, none of the attacks that came in my life has taken me by surprise. I knew those were coming and I was prepared for it. I was prepared for it. Thank you, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. If you are a watchman, hallelujah, you live a life of peace, you see. You need to pray for US, Israel and Saudi Arabia. Hallelujah. Listen to me. The Lord also told me, you know, when the war started happening between Russia and Ukraine, hallelujah, and everyone, all, all my believers, brothers and sisters, they are very wonderful, all of you, and they started to say, they started to pray, let there be peace, let there be peace, pray for Ukraine. And they started to have compassion for Ukraine, the people of Ukraine, no, the president of Ukraine, and so on and so forth. And on the third day of the war, they were saying, let us pray for peace. And then I started to investigate in the realm of the spirit and started to talk with God. And I asked God, Lord, how should I pray for this matter? The war that is happening between Russia and Ukraine. The Lord told me, Rahul, people are saying that the peace will come. The peace will not come so, so soon. It will take time. On the third day, the Lord told me, the peace will not come so soon. And he told me, don't focus on Russia and Ukraine, but focus praying for the body of Christ. Yes. Listen, this is what the Lord told me. He told me that because this thing, this war that is happening, it is a strategy of the enemy to, to make the heart of the believers dull and dry so that they, you will lose, lose your heart by this war of what is happening. So he told me, don't focus on that war thing. Focus and pray for the believers that more worse situation will come after this. But pray that believers will not lose their heart, will not lose their courage when the situations come. 
when the war starts and all these things happen but believers will not focus on the war and what is happening in the world but they will focus on bringing my kingdom on this earth this is what the lord told me and i don't know why he told me that and to some of some to 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 sister k to sister ruth i send that message and i send the prophecy which i did uh, last year 2021 in the month of march where the lord showed me the map of the world and there were cracks developing on the map of the world so i send those things to them so that they can pray i send the, those things to intercessors who are praying okay and then afterwards i i was thinking lord why you are asking me to focus then the lord told me in last few days that this war is a setup they are acting that listen to me i prophesy i am a prophet i know what i am saying the third world war will not happen they are doing acting it's a setup it's a setup to destroy the economy of the world so that they can introduce a system called the digital currency system and they can take the world towards the mark of the beast it's a setup because i operate in the ministry of a watchman the devil cannot fool me through the news that is coming on the tv you know yesterday what i saw a filthy song you know a, a, a man who was not at all famous he he introduced he composed a song on the president of ukraine that one man can save the world this is the title of his song and he dedicated that song to the president of ukraine on fox news it came one man can save the world and he was praising the president of U- ukraine the fox news came together and they were saying the president of ukraine is a hero still he is alive and all those things he will not be killed he will not die because it's a setup people are dying but the president is not dying how it's a setup and what they are doing they are using the this war system to program your mind for you to inculcate that there there is coming one man who will save the world from this kind of war situation and corona virus this is indoctrination of the demons and this is being carried carried out through media through media and through the prime minister person all of them are together in before the corona virus started you know you know what i saw i found myself it was not even a dream i found myself in the spirit in a big auditorium a conference room and i saw all the presidents and prime ministers were sitting in the conference room and someone came and told me as it happened in the book of genesis that all the nations came together to build the tower of babel so the nations of the world are coming together to build babylon again this is what i heard 2020 so they have already planned they have a plan for the next 10 years and they are going to implement it but we are going to hinder god has chosen you oh my god hallelujah are you are you understanding brothers and sisters i am taking some time to tell you all these mysteries so that you will have direction in your prayer when you pray hallelujah this is a setup hallelujah and unfortunately many of our christian pastors leaders are not connected with god they will post pray for ukraine pray for peace in ukraine pray for the president god does not wants you to pray for that that is not the leading of the leading of the spirit you have to understand president of ukraine is not your friend he is a actor used by the enemy oh my god are you with me are we on the same page do we have the same spirit leading us hallelujah hallelujah amen god bless you in the mighty name of jesus father we bring the nations under your control in jesus mighty name together we pray i pray with the saints of god with the precious saints we have today on this meeting that together we pray for the body of christ that let the body of christ be connected to your spirit in jesus mighty name let them hear your voice let them be a watchman an intercessor in the mighty name of jesus christ hallelujah every indoctrination every false doctrines in the churches in the ministries every lara by secultia we bind it we cast it out of the churches lord lord you are building your church hallelujah and the gates of hades shall not prevail against it build your church lord the end time ark of noah in the mighty name of jesus re ba ra ba sa ba ra ba today i pray for all these precious people lord i pray that you will break them ah, i i want to pray one point and then we will end i release the fire of the holy ghost in your prayer life today 
I open your eyes and I open your ears in the mighty name of Jesus to the mysteries and the things of the spirit in the mighty name of Jesus receive it hallelujah bless your precious people may they be strong warriors in your kingdom all glory all honor all praise I give to you in Jesus mighty name we pray amen hallelujah Before Time we will just ask Sister Kate to end the service and thank everyone for being here. We'll see you next Friday at nine o'clock. And thank God for Praise Pastor the Lord. Lord. Strengthen him in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Father, we thank you, God. No wonder no one has anyone to say. We are just stunned at this these revelations that has just been revealed to us. Oh, Father God, I thank you, God, that this is a movement. And yes, we will go in the group. And Lord Jesus, you will keep us posted. And each and every one of us will catch the seriousness of what the intercessor is all about. At least it has really awakened me to much more than what I'm doing now, to push forward, oh God. We're going to have to stand in the gap for people for what's coming and in the gap for our own children, for our own family. Lord, let us see the seriousness and everyone that leave here, God, go home with that in their mind to be that real intercessor you're looking for and that watchman on the wall. Father, I thank you, God, for your word, for your revelation knowledge that was, yes. Lord, revealed through the word, oh God. And we thank you, yes. God, that everyone will see the spirit. And even yes. go back and check those scriptures, Father God, and see how God was talking to people and what Daniel was all about in Shadrach, Meshach, yes. and Abednego, yes. and that hidden kingdom that we can't see with this natural eye. Father, I thank you, God. For this word tonight, God. Thank you. And Lord, go with us now to our homes. Bless us and protect us under your blood and cover us, Lord Jesus. Thank you. In the name of Jesus, amen. 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 I just want to thank Sister Opal for coming on and doing the praise and worship tonight. And thank Pastor Raul for the great sermon and thank God for his life. And everyone.